Welcome to Tempe Lima. Give yourselves a hand. segment of the night. I know, groan and moan and sigh and cry. I've had such a wonderful time with you guys here tonight, and I won't be here every week, so cherish this time. <laughs> Record it, write it in your diary. History, history is the stories we choose to tell, you know? So, make this night one of them. We're gonna finish up by playing some more improv for you. This time we're gonna do a short form game uh, called Lines of Dialogue. How it works is, before the show started, we had some of you guys write down some famous historical quotes on little slips of paper. And now each of us, myself, Colton, and Ludwig, who you're also going to see in the scene at some point, um, we all have those slips of paper neatly tucked into our little pockets. And throughout the scene, we're going to be pulling out those slips of paper, reading verbatim whatever the quote is that's written on the paper, and then justifying why our character is saying it within the context of the scene. So it's not just spouting random quotes, it's trying to make them organic into a scene. Um, so we, we have our quotes already, but from you guys, can you just give us a, a relationship, a suggestion of a relationship for our characters? Coach, coach and player. Um, I, heard, I heard cousins, we're gonna be cousins. It's a real relationship. Clap it up for lines of dialogue. years ago we had such a great connection. It's true. Like, oh my god, like cousin Magnolia is so cool. I just wanna I just wanna hang out with well, my cousin you. Magnolia. Thank you so you know? much, cousin cousin uh, Jethro. <laughs> Urethra. That means you're welcome where I come from. Wow, where where is it that I mean we've talked so much over I know, the years, but I just don't there's so much I don't know about. Right, you. all that those mystery correspondence, those letters. No, it's true, the boy. it's true. Um, I live in the South the South Isles. Oh, <laughs> so I, I heard, one. I've heard that the weather there is, I would, okay, this is what I've heard about the weather. Yeah. That, um, that, that, you know, you just, it's like to be or not to be. Like, <laughs> it's either good or it's bad, you know? Exactly what the weather is like. That's what I've heard about it. I wake up and the first thing I think when I step outside is, <laughs> Let's slip the dogs of war. I, I can say that to myself every day. Try just, havoc, just right? Just let them slip, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so do you like raise dogs, right? That's I what do, you were telling me last mix. time. Yes, uh, yes, pit bull uh, poodle mixes. Pit bull poodle mixes, yes. Yeah, the past just like 300 years. That's really, that's pretty, really interesting. Pretty successful business. Well, you know. <laughs> I, I know I'm not the expert, but a little training tip I have on dogs is just that uh, what. What, what what are you what are you what are you gonna do? Stab me? <laughs> you, know, like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, you just say it to them when they're when they're angry and it's like what are you gonna do? Being confronted huh? with the truth. You don't have thumbs. It's to totally true. Jethro Magnolia, I'm hey! going against oh, Uncle, Uncle Louie! Uncle Louie! Yeah. Uncle Louie! Yeah. Hey, what I what I always tell you kids, alright? Every time you see me, what do you tell me? Uh, uh we say by any means necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Spike the punch. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right. Yeah. How are you guys doing? It's been what, oh, like you know, 90 years, all right? You know, we've, just been, we've just been hanging by the, the spiked punch bowl the whole time. It's true. Oh, it's oh. true. Okay. Did you, did, you, did you hear about... Did you hear about Aunt, Aunt Beth? Well, I heard that, uh, that, she, that pissed. <laughs> I heard she pissed. She pissed herself, you goddamn right. Which, and you know why? Because I spike the punch by any means necessary. Wow, classic <laughs> Uncle oh, Louie. You know, oh, speaking, of, speaking of, of Aunt Beth, I just remembered. I got high and forgot I wasn't supposed to be high. Don't <laughs> 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 tell your father. Jethro. Jethro. If your father knew about that, I mean, oh, he, he would say, well, since we're obviously in India, we'll call them Indians, that racist son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it's about. That's exactly what <laughs> Uncle Louie, exactly I uh, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not, 
I'm not super comfortable with you being here. Uh, Love it. Since you divorced my aunt Vatan, you know, I just really don't feel like you're part of the family anymore. I don't yeah. know. It was just like you just. Well, I, okay. I think it's kind of awkward that you're here. I mean, you're, it's only a marriage that you're really in this family. Okay. Right. It's like we're it's all little... about the glory of Rome, and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> You, yes. I will just say that you have never been for the glory of Rome, even when you, when you were married to Anne. This really, Baton. I mean, this surprises me. It's like you just walk around all the time saying, let me hit that. <laughs> <laughs> this, That's not what we're about. This no, we're not about that. This surprises me. It, it, I can't really handle it because I'm too drunk to taste this chicken that you're throwing at me right oh, now. Oh, yeah? You're yeah. too drunk? You're just calling well, this chicken I am Spartacus! Hey! <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm Spartacus! <laughs> I'm a mini meat chain! Guys! Sorry, Do you I just know what you're on? look. I just you, thought that me coming out of Spartacus would have a little bit more weight. <laughs> and I just, I, I just know. ran with his adrenaline. I just showed it. You got to match energy. Do you know what your aunt did to me? She's your your lovely aunt. I mean, I've heard one sentence. Yeah. Sorry. Well, holy shit, is that an iceberg? That's what she did to me. She gave me an iceberg of emotional stress. Look. All right. You see on the surface, but there's a whole lot of shit underneath it. <laughs> iceberg of problems. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Lou. Louis. Oh, don't even call me uncle anymore, right? Louis. You might as well call me baby don't hurt me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Look, that's not what we're trying to say. What we're trying to say is don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Well, don't do it! I, I used to change your diaper. I used to I used to say, you ain't what, Eve? You ain't what, Eve? When you were just a kid, you ain't what, Eve? And every time you'd be like, what are you talking about, Uncle Louie? I'd say, I don't know, I'm drunk! <laughs> it, it's true, though. I mean, all of my earliest memories are with you. I, I, I mean, just never respected you after you told my aunt. My aunt! You're a poor aunt. <laughs> Life, liberty, and the pursuit of cash money. <laughs> Okay, so I I've to never respected you after that. I want right? to make some paper dragging me down. I need that, you know, money. Look, guys, I think we just need to stop and ask ourselves, what is love? <laughs> it's not what I feel for Louis, that's for damn sure. <laughs> that's for damn sure. Well, for the rest of my life, I will always feel for you. I live. <laughs> because with you, I do feel alive. Oh, <laughs> uh, what are you saying? I'm saying that... I'm saying New York, New York. <laughs> you know what? I am saying New York, New York again. And I am also saying, get on this boat, brother. Get on this boat, oh brother. <laughs> that was so expected. Hey, you guys, that just reminded me. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> relations with that woman. <laughs> and that's like- See?